<laughs> Morning. Hello. How are we doing? Not too bad, thank you. Good. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. Got a site visit to do today. Before we head on over there, I thought it'd be interesting just to show you what happens behind the scenes. This is my business partner, Darren. He's the other half of Soul Fuel. I'll uh, let him explain what he does. Hi, uh, so I'm Darren. My main responsibility at Soul Fuel is to ensure that I keep the ducks in a line uh, with the back office side of things, making sure essentially that people are making the correct decisions with the inquiries that they have with us, keeping the website and whatnot up to date, and also keeping the, the young men that I'm about to introduce you to out of trouble. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to, to Cole. He's our marketing guy. Uh, he takes care of the majority of our website inquiries, just ensuring that the, the website is looking as tip top as it possibly can at all times. Over here, we've got Dean. Dean is the office manager at the moment. He's one of my young guns, he's doing very well. His main responsibility is to make sure that customers are happy at all times, send them correct designs, keep in contact with people, and he's also part of the survey team as well. Uh, and finally, we've got the young man of the office, George. You may well recognize him from previous videos when he was on the tools for a bit, but he was so good at talking, we decided to get him in the office rather than talking and gibbering when he sh shouldn't be. We've got him in the office talking and gibbering to get business for us instead. So you're probably thinking, a lot of you that are tuned in, you know, what, what is the process? How does it work? You might be interested in, 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 in getting solar and you know, wondering how things start. Well, effectively, you, you come through to, to the office, you come through to someone like me. I will you know, ascertain essentially what it is that you're looking, to, looking for and why you're looking to get solar. My opening gambit normally you know, includes asking questions like uh, how much electricity you're using per year. That way then we can accurately do a design for you um, and you know, get the, the numbers and figures correct in terms of an investment and what you're going to be looking to achieve. It will then go through to someone like Dean and he will then start the process of using Google Earth to ascertain an image of your roof. Uh, once we've got an image of your roof, we can then do what I like to call an estimate. I don't like to formalize uh, and call it a quote. We don't like to quote until we've surveyed the property, but we'll provide you with an estimate. And from that estimate, then you'll be able to see what sort of ballpark we're in and give you an idea exactly of what numbers uh, the system are gonna provide for yourself in terms of investment value as well. This is effectively a job that we've recently installed. Take a look uh, and have a look at the design. So this is what you can expect once I've done the design. As you can see here, we've got 11 panels for this particular customer. At the top left, you can see there the system size. Next, you've got the estimated savings and then the system price. So this customer's going to be saving around about £1,500 a year. As we move down on the proposal, you can see your solution. On here, it will list the panels, wattage, and the various other components such as inverter and battery. You can also see your rough savings on what your bill is going to look like in real person terms. So as we move down, for this particular customer, his old bill is around about £200 a month. We're going to reduce this to around about £60 a month, which is a good saving. You can guarantee that money's not going to be good in the bank, let's invest it into solar. Poor, mm, poor darts mate. What have you got? It's been a while. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, he okay. scored 15. You see how busy I am. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he's got the trebles. Score. Big score of 85. <laughs> Highest dart gets lunch. No. Yeah. All right, doesn't get lunch. Highest score gets lunch. One dart. Yeah. Oh, one dart, one dart. One dart, one dart. One dart, one dart. One dart. Oh! oh! <laughs> All I've got to do is hit the board. What do you go for a two? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought I'd go for the bullseye, but I thought he's a bit better, innit? Yeah. So this is the property that we're going to be looking at. Jack will be surveying this, this afternoon. This is the design mapping out stage. In terms of panels, clients ask for this face here to be populated only. So panels, we want to keep ourselves 300 from the edge, just for MCS. So we're looking at fitting five panels there. So I'll be speaking with Jack saying, when you go to the survey, we're looking at five panels on this particular roof. He'll go and do the measurements and make sure that we can fit the five. The weather's getting better, boys. The weather is getting better. I'm looking forward to this video. I think it's going to be all right, you know. So 
here we are, we're at the job. We're gonna carry out a little survey here. So I'll show you what's involved in the survey. Now, we've met the customer. Not, doesn't really wanna be on camera, but it's happy for us to show you around. So let's get cracking. I spoke with Dean from the desktop survey. He seems to think that about five would fit up there. We're going in roof. So we'll go up there, have a measure, make sure they're gonna fit. Um, because it's not the biggest of roofs, we're gonna couple that f those five panels with a battery storage so that the customer can at least benefit from some off-peak electricity. The first part of a survey is to make sure the panels can fit. Because if you can't fit the panels on, there's no point looking at cable routes and whatnot. So first thing, make sure the panels fit. So I've already made a couple of little marks here, but I know that the panels we're using, they're 1755 in height. So I'm on this roof, I'm gonna measure my 1755 making sure I'm going to have at least 300 overhang from the bottom. So although they're integrated panels, so the runoff won't be as bad, but if you've got on roof panels and you sit the panels too close to your gutter line, as soon as that rainwater hits the panels, it's going to shoot over the gutter, gutter's pointless. So it's important that the rainwater doesn't run straight off and goes onto the roof and then into the gutter. So that's why we have this gap at the bottom. At the top, we also want our 300. For wind loadings, you don't want it sticking above the ridge or anything like that. So height-wise, we're good. Panel's gonna go portrait. And then what we're gonna do is measure from this point across to make sure that we can actually fit our five on. So panel's gonna start there. Got just shy of six meters there. We'll get our five on. The only thing I do need to check, which wasn't on the desktop survey, because it is a new build, this chimney stack. And it wasn't on the drawings that we received. So this is obviously an addition. So this is why it's super important to come and do a survey. If we can fit it behind, we'll still put one on. It makes sense because the sun will hit it from this angle. This is pretty much south and it will hit it again from this angle. So it still will generate, it's still worth doing in my opinion. Um, it's just whether we've got the right height if the panels follow that line through. So 1755. So panel will fit behind there, but it's going to be very tight. It may be that we actually missed that one out I speak to the customer about it. It probably will be in the shade quite a lot of time just because of how close it's going to sit, sort of tucked up behind it. We can potentially get another two panels on this face over here. We've gone from five to four, but we're going another two over there, so we're back up at six. So not ideal missing this one because this is our preferred facing, um, but two over there will also be super beneficial. Another super important reason why we actually come out and survey. Desktop and plans shows they will fit. Turns out we, we can't actually fit two landscape on here, so it would only be the one landscape. I can't put a panel under a ridge tile, it's, just, it's not a thing. So we're one panel on here, I've got a four down the side. Unfortunately, that's all, that's all there's gonna be up here. You may have noticed there's quite a big cable coming through the roof as it stands. Um, that will be altered, so it's gonna get dropped down the pole and there's gonna be a little kiosk down there on the ground and that's where we'll take our power from. So I spoke to the customer, they're happy with uh, the layout. We've just gone on the roof and had a look at, so they're happy with that. The system we're going for is end phase. So because it converts DC to AC at the panel, we're gonna run 230 volt and we can run that within the fabric of the building. So that's gonna come from the roof, in this stud work wall above, drop down and drop onto this wall here. So this is our, what well, gonna be the utility room. So we'll have our little en envoy, which is our comms for the end phase for the solar. That'll be in here. So cable route's nice and easy on this one. Power's gonna be in here, so once it gets moved from overhead, it's gonna pop up in here. So we're gonna have power in here. We're pairing the system with a Tesla Powerwall 2. So the Powerwall's gonna sit here, looking nice and pretty. And again, super easy. We can just poke through the wall into the utility. That's where our gateway's gonna be. That's where our envoy's gonna be for the end phase, our power. So cable route on this one is as easy as it can be. So back to the office now give Dean the update so we can update the design so it's all accurate and whatnot. Um, yeah, happy days. So over here at Soul Fuel, after going ahead with us, uh, we don't like to consider ourselves as one of these companies that are sort of somewhat of a one night stand of our clients. With uh, our client's permission, um, there is a, an after sales service available to all of our customers where we will remotely monitor the system just to ensure the system is doing what we hope it's going to do and what we expect it's going to do, but obviously most importantly what, what, what you're expecting it's going to do. There's a, a little alert on my screen that's come up late last night with one of the gentlemen that we've uh, worked with. Uh, as you can see here, um, the troubleshooting um, is stipulating that there has been a, an issue with connection to his panels. 
Um, effectively, you know, this is a, a normal thing which can happen if people change their internet providers. Um, there are a number of reasons it can be. So without further ado, I'll be getting on the phone to him, getting to the, the bottom of the, the situation and getting this, the issue resolved as quickly as possible. Um, so just rest assured, you're not left, you know, by yourself after we've installed. Uh, we are here, if we're only a phone call away. So Jack's been to the survey, reported back to me. A few issues with the chimney stack, but nothing that we can't solve. So come take a look, I'll show you the design and we can make a start. So with this chimney stack here, we've got our obstruction. So what we're looking at as per the survey, we're looking to this side and then to the other side. Original plan was five. That's why what we'll do on the west face, we'll put our extra one in here. As per Jack's report, we'll look to set it landscape. So we will be achieving the five as this customer requested. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're interested in seeing how we install the solar, there'll be a video pop up here. And likewise, if you want to pop down, design a system with us, sit with us, go through all the options and whatnot, you're more than welcome to. And there'll be a link in the description below.